Number 23, Providence Men's Basketball lost to unranked Seton Hall 61 to 57. What exactly happened in this game? Seton Hall was up 29-24 at a half. Yes, Providence scored 33 points in the second half, but they allowed 32. And granted, it was a little bit of a foul game at the very end. And all this, but now statistically, Providence, you didn't shoot good enough. You didn't shoot the ball good. 37% from the field on 54 attempts, 23.5% from threes on 17 attempts. That's not helping yourself. 86.7% from the free throw line on 15 attempts. You can't do, really do anything about that. I mean, that's the truth. 36 rebounds, 6 of those offensive, 11 assists, 7 steals, 4 blocks, 14 turnovers, 13 fouls, 10 points off the bench, and 33 points combined for your two double digit scores. And if you want to go by 7 points or more, you had like two other players that combined for 14, 7 and 7. Now, Seeing all did this without any bench points, so Seeing all starters did more than the Providence starters. Easy. They didn't shoot good as uh, Providence, like by only 0.8 percent. I mean, 36.2 percent from the field on 58 attempts, so they took four more shots. 43.8 percent from the three-point line on 16 attempts, and 75 percent on free throws on 16 attempts. 38 rebounds, 11 of those offensive, six assists, three steals, four blocks, 14 turns, 16 fouls. There's some minor differences, but at the very end, St. Hall made enough plays to win the game. Now, what does Providence have going for? They got accredited, and this game was even at home for Providence. They got St. John's on the road. That's improved, too, besides Creighton. You got Xavier at home, which they defeated St. Hall, believe it or not. Thank goodness you got Xavier at home. Then DePaul on the road, that's 3 10. You should not lose that game, but then again, this would be a epitome of brutality if it was. And you got to have to play the same exact scene, Hall team. But on the road, the next five, that's the next five games for them now. For scene Hall, this was a much needed win after he lost to Xavier. You got number seven, Marquette, coming up at home. That would be a huge resume boosting win. You got at Georgetown, that's 7-7. Seven seven. You better not lose that game if you want to make the NCAA tournament. You got at Butler, that's 10-4. You got to improve St. John's team at home. You got to play Creighton at home. And then you got prop, prop the same exact province team at home. So, that's that. And that, anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. And see you guys later on the road of 600 subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal. It's a thousand more, so make money off this course. Like giving video, comment video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well, so more people will watch. And if you're watching, not subscribing, hit subscribe. Subscribe button is free, hit the notification bell as well.